G'day, my name's James and I moved here for a job two years ago as a physiotherapist and 12 months ago I was a flat out atheist. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> I had heaps and heaps of friends that were all Christians um, and we used to get in long, theolo long theological arguments about the pros and cons of God and how I was definitely against it. very much against everything that God stood for and his people here on earth and how they acted and how they had unblinding faith in or blind faith in, in this divine creature that wasn't tangible. Father God I decided to get fairly serious with my partner at the stage and, um, and she was really keen to get back into a church. And the second I heard the name of the church, EV, and Evangelical Church, I was like, ah, this is crazy. Like, who's, uh, who's stealing my darling away? And as such, I, I came along. And I started sitting out in the sermons week in, week out, and I met a few people at church, and they were just really lovely people. And I kept coming and came, came to enjoy it more and more. And the next thing you know, I was doing every course that EV Church had to offer through Stuffing Up and Digging Deeper and Newish and Life and mm. all the courses being run. I was, I was mm. going along with full steam ahead and really mm. digging into it. Flesh and blood is... So I had some, some pretty in depth debates with, uh, with a few of the members here from church, um, and looking back, I was clearly wrong, um, but at the time, they, they did make sense to me, um, and so the life course itself, I think I fought it every step of the way. I was still fighting against what it was to be a Christian, I was fighting against me as being a Christian. I still, by no stretch of the way, had made a commitment at all to God. I was like, oh, this is all fantastic, it's a great way to live your life, and I'm really enjoying it, I'm getting an awful lot out of it, but mm. I still hadn't actually made the, the big move in my heart and my mind that, mm. that God was for me, and Jesus is who he proclaims to be. And I'm not ashamed to admit, I was listening to one of the, the sermons in the, in the EV uh, room in Cesar, and I just started crying, I was crying, and bawling, and bawling, and crying, and Isabel was with me, my partner was with me, and... Uh, and then I just knew that was the moment. And that was it. I walked out of the church that evening and, and, uh, and repented in the car park. And it all came flooding out. And um, that, was, that was the one definitive moment on a Sunday evening in the middle of winter last year. And when I said, I am yours, God, and you're mine. And... and the fact that Jesus Christ came to, to die in my place on the cross and, and was resurrected, What's happened for me without me ever knowing it is just phenomenal. And uh, I'll say thank you to God for the rest of my life. Oh,